Hey, it's Matt with McGee Farms, and I've done a couple videos on the raised bed gardens that we've been building this year, and I like them so far. They're working out pretty good. Got a couple of them. This uh, first one here, it's a four by four foot one. We've got some strawberries, we've got some blackberries, we've got some honey berries. They're starting to take off a little bit. The one behind it, it is an eight foot by three foot and we've got tomatoes and peppers in it so far and they're they're coming along pretty good got the same thing over here and what i did when i was setting them up is i've got a 60 inch mower deck on my kubota bx tractor and so i wanted enough room that i could get in between to mow and kind of uh you know keep up with it and we had originally talked about taking some cattle panels and making an arch as you can see, we've got one up right, right now. But doing that, if I was gonna use a cattle panel, they needed to be closer together. Uh, we went to set one up, and I was kind of under the impression we were gonna set them up a different way, and, which is why I spaced everything so far out. But uh, if wife and myself got talking and decided, no, uh, we're gonna do them in between, which is fine. But when I put one in, it was low to the ground to where I wouldn't have been able to get the tractor under it. Plus, it was pretty flimsy in there. So what I did is I got two panels and I put them together. I spaced them about four and a half, five foot apart and uh, zip tied them together. I ended up using fence steeples and I have them... Uh, uh, steepled into, nailed into the, into the two by fours. And then I took a T post and I drove it in right up next to the garden beds. And I have them on that. Now doing that, this thing's pretty solid. It's not going anywhere. And it's working pretty good. We're going to do that for this one here and this one here. Now these are three foot uh, and most of your cattle panels are four foot but if you get a hog panel those are three foot so those will work just perfect in here for us so anyway we're going to show you how i've got it set up and i'm going to set the next one in place okay so i've got my two cattle panels laid out overlapping each other and what i did is i've got about four and a half almost five foot which is basically seven of, seven of these going over. So I'm going to take the Homesteader's secret weapon, zip ties, and I'm going to zip tie them together. Uh, on both ends, I'm going to pretty much go every one and on the sides, and then in between, I'm going to kind of kind of rotate them a little bit. But by doing that, that's going to make them nice and strong. And uh, I've got my posts I went ahead and put in. So they're all ready to go. I just need to zip tie these together and get somebody to help me because uh, once you put two together, there's a lot of tension on there. And I put the last one up by myself, but it was a pain to do so. I've got help here now. While I've got help, I'm going to take advantage of it. But first, I got to get these zip ties on. Okay, so I've got archway number two in. And uh, I'm going to come back and where I zip tied it. And I'm probably, I'm going to end up replacing these zip ties uh, with something a little better, either some UV resistant zip ties or some metal bands. But this is kind of to shape it and get it started for now. But we'll go through, clip all these off, and uh, then we'll start uh, attaching it to the sides, and then we'll start planting. But that's kind of where we're at so far with the garden. That's how we're doing these trellises with the cattle panels. You know, hopefully this will inspire you. Uh, this is kind of a kind of an idea that I got watching. Uh, four or five other YouTubers that uh, had some different garden setups and I kind of took took inspiration from them and came up with kind of my own plan 
And if you do the same thing, I'm glad to have been able to help you. If you enjoy the videos, please consider leaving us a like, a comment, uh, maybe subscribe to the channel, or share it with your friends. It's always appreciated and it helps the channel grow. Till next time, this is Matt with McGee Farms. Have a great day.